Welcome to Latitude Margaritaville in Daytona Beach, Florida. I'm Kevin Kling with 36realestate.com and today I'm going to take you with me to tour the model homes that are available here in this community. Of course, you probably didn't find this video by accident, so you might have some familiarity with Latitude, but my goal today is to dive deeper into some of the floor plans. So I will warn you, this video is a bit long, but I have also added chapters below if there's a particular floor plan that you'd like to spend more time exploring. Don't hesitate to comment below if you have any questions or see something that interests you. Of course, we aren't on island time yet, so let's get started. Okay, so let's start the tour today with the coconut floor plan. And uh, as you can hear, the music's already playing. There's a sign for the coconut floor plan. You can see they have a beautiful entry. And let's take you through the front door here. So as we enter, we enter the home foyer. And in this particular model home, they've installed beautiful flooring. And let me take you right back here to the main open living space. Take a look at that. How beautiful is that? Again, this is the coconut floor plan. It's a two bedroom. In this particular model home, they did install a pool in the back. But let's start in the front of the home. So as you enter the property, immediately to your left, it takes you down a hall to a full bathroom. As you can see here, there's the full bath. And just past the full bath, you have bedroom two, which is a fantastic size. You can see here you have room for a desk, a bed, there's also a double door closet. And let's take you back to where we started. We're now in the foyer. So to your right, we have the laundry room, as you can see here. And just across from the laundry room, you have a, a separate dining space. And on this particular model, you'll see that they've included some updates, not updates, but upgrades. Here you have a wet bar. And again, back to this living area, great room space. Beautifully done. Check out that kitchen. Everything is wide open, great for entertaining. The cabinetry, the countertops. Of course, you got the solid surface counters. Check out that nook. All the windows available with all the views. And let me pan back around to you here. You can see all the details in the ceilings stainless steel appliances, the sink, the cooktop, the microwave, got a built-in oven. And then again, from the sink, picture yourself doing the dishes, making meals, and look at that view. Pretty incredible. I'm gonna take you to the back of the home here, which is gonna to be to the owner suite. And look at that. Again, you've got the tall ceilings. Look at all the details in the ceilings. Again, this is a model home, okay? So a lot of the features you're gonna see in here are upgrades. That would be available. There's a good look at the view again. And then just over here to the back, you can see the very large owner's bathroom. Check out that. Look at all the counter space, the large mirror, the lighting. And whoa, look at that shower. I mean, this shower is enormous. Look at that, wow. For the back, we have the walk-in closet. They have the built-ins in here. I can see it's a generous size, lots of room for either hers and hers stuff or his and hers. Pretty amazing. And let's take you back to the pool. Wow. Beautiful paved patio, in-ground pool. And that wraps up this tour. Let's head to the next home. Okay, next up on the tour is the Parrot Floor Plan. Now the Parrot Floor Plan is a two bedroom, two bath, features a den, two car garage, and it's approximately 1,937 living square feet. As you can see, when you walk in, you're greeted by a very large foyer. 
Check out that ceiling and the light fixture is absolutely beautiful. Very open, very bright. Over here to the left side, you can see you have a formal dining room, which actually has access to the kitchen down the hall there, you can see. And opposite of that, you have a den or separate living space. Look at that. Very nice. Over here down the hall, it's gonna take us to the garage, which would be out that door. And further down the hall, you have the very large laundry room. And here in the model, they've also put in the laundry sink. As we continue, you can see in the distance, you have the large great room, which we're gonna to go to next. But immediately to your right, it takes you to bedroom two. Look at that. Tons of natural light, big windows. See the closet in the back there for storage. One thing you'll notice, hopefully you can pick it up in the video, but in person, you really recognize and notice how bright these homes are. They really did their best to make these homes as cheerful as possible, and they succeeded. It's gorgeous. And let's take you back to the grand area of this home. One of my favorite parts, check out the details in the ceiling. Look how open that is. Incredible. If you have guests or entertaining, just a wonderful setup. You can oversee you have a private screened in lanai in the back. Separate nook area. And look at that kitchen. Tons of counter space. Tons of countertops. You can see you have access to the dining room right here from the kitchen. And around there's a grand view of that living space there. It's beautiful. And let's take you to the back of the home where we'll find the owner suite. Look at that. Just beautiful. Very large room, a lot of windows, a lot of natural light again. All the things you're looking for when shopping for a home in Florida are offered here, in my opinion. Double closets here. You know, some people call them his and hers. Some people call them hers and hers. Large owner's bathroom. Again, a lot of counter space, big mirrors, tons of lighting, separate water closet. And of course, one gigantic shower. So that wraps up this tour. Let's head to the next home. Okay, so we're still touring the beach collection. This time we're gonna walk through the Breeze floor plan. Now the Breeze floor plan is two bedrooms, two and a half baths, has a den, two car garage, and is approximately 2,083 living square feet. Let's take a closer look. So as you walk into the Breeze floor plan, you're greeted with a grand foyer. Look at that, very tall ceilings, absolutely beautiful. To the left, you can see the den. Some people might utilize this as an additional sleeping area, office. You have options here. This particular one, they put in the wet bar. I don't see any reason why that couldn't be a closet, but here they have a wet bar in the model. Down the hall off the floor, you got some additional storage. You've got the door to the two car garage. And to your left, you have a very nicely appointed laundry room. Plenty of cabinets, plenty of space, not too tight. And just off the laundry, you have bedroom number two with its ensuite bathroom in the back. Great space here, room for a couple nightstands, lamps, plenty of space for the dresser. You also have a closet. And again, this bathroom is directly off of bedroom two. We have the towel closet, sink, toilet, and shower tub combination. So as we leave bedroom two and head around the hall through the foyer, it's gonna lead us into the half bath, which we call the guest bath. And as we leave the guest bath, we enter the massive great room living space with kitchen, nook, living area, and dining area. Look at that. Very well done. See your nook to the side there. And look at that kitchen. 
Beautiful kitchen, breakfast bar, built-in oven, a lot of cabinets, a lot of counter space, beautiful backsplash. Look at that. And again, you've heard me talk about the sinks and these floor plans. Another great positioning of the sink. So if you are got family over, guests are entertaining, prepping meals, or even just cleaning the kitchen, the conversations can continue and don't have to stop. I know you see that pool. It's beautiful. We'll go out there in just a moment. So down the hall, we'll take you into the owner suite. Look at that. Wow. Look at the windows, the natural light, the space, plenty of room on both sides. Additional space for a sitting area overlooking the backyard, possibly a pool. Plenty of room for your nightstand, your lamps, recessed ceiling. Beautiful. Very, very nice. As we walk into the owner's bathroom, got double closets, which also leads to the owner's bathroom. Look at the counter space. Huge shower, separate sink, and water closet with storage. I like how they put the mirrors there. Very nicely done. Let's head out back and take a look at the pool. So a pool's not for everyone, but for those of you that want a pool, some of the things to think about are how big of a pool you want, how much space you want around the exterior of the pool to walk. Is there a covered lanai area? This home offers all the things that I personally would be looking for if I was purchasing a home with a pool. You've got the additional covered lanai area, which gives you that additional protection if we happen to have a wind or rainstorm come through. This one has a screened in lanai, but you can also see as you walk around, you've got plenty of pavers and walking area around the pool, okay? So to some people that will be important, and here that's offered. So we're now at the back of the property. You can see the full screen enclosure. Look at those skies. That's some blue skies today. Did I pick a good day to do this or what? Huge pool here, separate hot tub. You're probably wondering, Kevin, if you're not familiar with pools, what is that shallow area and why is there a chair in the pool? Well, around here we call that a sun shelf. So some of you might have animals, grandkids, or just like to lounge in the shallow water with a drink. Make sure you get a sun shelf. All right. That wraps up the tour of this home. Let's head to the next one. Hey, welcome back. Now we're in the Island Collection. This is the one of the larger floor plans. It's the Trinidad floor plan, as you can see there. Now the Trinidad floor plan features three bedrooms, three and a half baths, a den, three car garage, and approximately 2,564 living square feet. Let's go take a closer look. So upon entry, you enter the beautiful foyer. Look at that ceiling, super tall ceilings, beautiful light fixture. Let's take you right into this separate living space here. So as you walk in, you're greeted with a dining room on the left and a formal living space just to the side, okay? Now back to the foyer where we entered, if you walk down the hall, it's gonna take you to a full suite, bedroom two suite, which again is a great space. Double windows, a lot of natural light. Closet to the side there. And then attached to this bedroom is full bathroom number two. Very well done. Just past that, you have a half bath for your guest. Let's see here. And as we leave the half bath, it's gonna take you into that den, hobby, office area that we discussed in the beginning. Separate recessed area where they installed a wet bar. Great use of windows. Wonderful additional space. So if you needed square footage, you needed the three bedrooms, but you also need an office, this is a floor plan you'll wanna consider. Back into the formal living and dining area. As we walk past that, we enter the massive great room. Look at this. 
spectacular. Lots of cabinets, countertops, opens up to the great room, dining slash nook area. Very well done. Let's get a closer look at the kitchen. Tons of counter space. Takes us into the large walk-in pantry. Look at that. Double ovens built in. And again, something I really, really like in a lot of the floor plans here is the position of the sink. Back in basically the middle of the home Great spot to continue conversation with your family or guest. Now, as we leave the kitchen and head to the right, we'll walk down the hallway here. That'll take us into bedroom three. Another great size bedroom. Dresser to the side, bed, plenty of room for a desk with its own private ensuite bathroom. How about that? And just off that bedroom, it's gonna take us into what I believe to be one of the biggest laundry rooms in the whole world. Look at this. This is your laundry room. That door takes you to the garage. How about that for storage? Now, if you're considering a move to the south from the north, what a lot of my customers will say, Kevin, where am I gonna store all my stuff? Well, you're not gonna store everything in here, but it's still a positive. You will be able to store much more in this particular laundry room than the average laundry room. So let's continue the tour of this Trinidad floor plan and take you past the formal living area. You can see a triple slider overlooking the covered patio. Again, very well done. And down the hall, it's gonna take us to the owner suite. Look at that. Look at all the windows. Okay, so something I like about this particular owner suite is, of course, the space. Look at that. Double nightstand, separate sitting area, plenty of room for the dresser. And guess what? I'm not tripping on anything. You actually have room to move around. And guess what? During the day, you can see without a problem because it's incredibly bright in here. Absolutely beautiful. So some will call them his and her closets. Some will call them hers and hers closets. But here you've got double closet offerings and down the hall will take you into the owner's bathroom with again, separate sinks, separate tub, separate walk-in shower, and of course, separate water closet. So this is the Trinidad floor plan. Very well done a lot more space than the average floor plan in the neighborhood. So if you do prefer to have more square footage, you're gonna to wanna to look at the properties that are available in the Island Collection. That wraps up the Trinidad floor plan. Let's head to the next one. Okay, now we're in the Island Collection and we're gonna to tour one of the larger floor plans. It's the Aruba floor plan. Now the Aruba is a two bedroom, two and a half bath, features a den, three car garage, and the living square footage on this one's approximately 2338. So let's enter and take a closer look. So you can see a consistent theme with these island collection plans is you're greeted with a grand foyer. Look at that, extremely tall ceilings, the details, the light fixtures. Now again, we're in a model home, so you will see some features and upgrades throughout this property. Immediately to your right, you can see the den. Very nice extra space here. And immediately to your right, when you enter the foyer, you will see bedroom number two. Look at the size of this room. Now there's two beds in here. My guess is you could fit more. Look at the space here. Very nice square footage, plenty of room for a dresser, multiple nightstands, multiple beds. Very nicely done. And how about those flip-flops all over the wall? How cool is that? Now this second bedroom does have an ensuite, full bathroom with plenty of storage, counter space, closet, and shower tub combo. 
with toilet. So as we leave bedroom two and walk past the den, you will see on this side we have a half bath. Did not have a chance to lower the toilet seat, I apologize. And now we're entering the beautiful open living space. Take a look at that. Again, we're in the Aruba floor plan. You can see this is a massive great room. Look at that. This one happens to be waterfront with a pool and incredible details in the ceiling, the floors, the kitchen. This is incredible. Look at the size of that breakfast bar. Four stools below. Look at all that countertop space. Plenty of kitchen cabinets for storage. You got glass front doors, cooktop, built-in stove. It's beautiful. And we're gonna take a quick walk down here. So through that door, we'll take you into the three-car garage. We're now in the laundry room. Another big laundry room. So this island collection, they're just overall just bigger floor plans. So you're gonna have bigger rooms, bigger space, bigger living areas, bigger laundry room. So if you need bigger and you need more space, you're gonna to wanna to look at the island collection. Look at that dining room. Absolutely beautiful. Pan back over to the kitchen or look in the great room. Now, this is a four door slider. Not two doors, not three doors, four door slider. Look at that view. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So just off the great room is gonna take us into the owner suite. Now with this owner suite, again, very well done. Tons of windows, absolutely beautiful. Look at the space here. Your dresser is on the far wall. You can picture your television above the dresser if you'd like to have a TV in your room. Plenty of room for nightstands, lamps. Look at all the natural light. Set up like a bay window overlooking the backyard with absolutely gorgeous views of the lake slash pond and pool. Plenty of room for additional seating space. Very, very nicely done. His and her walk-in closets. Takes us into the owner's bathroom. Lots of storage, separate sink, separate garden tub, huge walk-in shower. This one even has a rain shower head. Check that out. And separate water closet. So I'm gonna have to give you a closer look at the pool area because this is absolutely breathtaking. So you can see here, they have some beautiful solid floors here. Very well done. Another sun shelf, separate hot tub. Tell me that's not spectacular. Now that's Florida living. How beautiful. I'll do my very best not to fall in. This gives you a good overlook of the back here. So again, when you have a pool area, you'll appreciate having an additional covered lanai area because this gives you the additional sun protection or protection from rain, windstorms, whatever else might surprise you on a typical Florida day. Today, I don't see any rain or thunderstorms coming today because that's just gorgeous. Closer look at the hot tub. And you have more patio area in the back here. That's the owner suite that we just walked through. Very nice. That sums up this tour. Let's head to the next one. All right, we're gonna change things on you. Now we're in the Caribbean collection and we're gonna start with the Barbuda floor plan. And let's go take a closer look. Now the Barbuda floor plans, two bedrooms, two baths, has a den, two car garage, and is approximately 1,786 living square feet. Look at that beautiful entry. Let's enter through the main door, take a closer look. So you can see as you enter, we just entered the foyer. 
immediately to your right, you can see the den slash hobby area where this model actually included a wet bar. Very well done. Down the hall, you have full bath number two, which is actually huge. Shower tub combo. Look at all that space in here. Very well done. And that leads us to bedroom two. Massive. Great space here. And again, look at the use of windows here. Closet space. Lots of natural light. Plenty of room for dressers, nightstands, and other furnishings. Just off bedroom two, you can see gigantic laundry room. The door in the distance takes you to your private two-car garage. And let's go to the focal point of this home. Look at that. Wow. Huge kitchen. Wonderful dining space. Look at the ceilings in the distance. Look at the windows up at the top there. Details in the ceiling. Look at that. I might pause here for a second because that's beautiful. Just over to the side here, you can see you've got a breakfast bar. Plenty of room for stools, chairs, company, you name it. Look at that, so well done. Pantry. Again, I really like the way they position the sink. Puts you almost at the center of the home. So picture yourself here, preparing breakfast, lunch, dinner, maybe a little bit of cleaning if you have to, but then also never losing sight of your guest if you're entertaining or have friends over or family. Sometimes you might invite family. And you have a screened in patio in the back. Very well done. And then at the back of the home takes us into the owner suite. I know you've heard me say this before, but the details in these homes are absolutely incredible in the space that they used and were able to fit everything. Look at this. You have a recessed area for your dresser. So it's not sticking out in the main hallway here when you're walking around plenty of room to walk, plenty of room for double nightstands, lamps, and look at all that natural light. It is super bright in here. As we walk down the hall, it takes us into the owner's bathroom. Lots of counter space, double sinks, lighting. And guess what? If you haven't heard it before, another massive shower. Additional storage. And we have big walk-in closet. His and hers closet or as some like to call them, hers and hers closet. That wraps up the tour of this home. Let's head to the next one. All right, we're still jamming out here in Latitude Margaritaville. Uh, we're still in the Caribbean collection, but this time we're gonna tour the Antigua floor plan. So, as we head up to the main entry, You can see again, we're in another end unit with a lot of windows. Guess what? I bet this one's gonna have a lot of natural light too. So as you enter this floor plan, you can see you have the dining room, the kitchen, and just to the left when we entered, you have that separate den hobby space. Look at that. Nice little recessed area there in the back. And to the right, we just entered through that door. To the right, you have a big open, I would call it a great room. Some people call it a living room. Very open, plenty of room for a lot of furniture, plenty of room for a big television. Look at that, that wraps around. Nice use of windows, very bright. And as you can see here, from your couch, you've got great views of the pool on this model. You can see the kitchen, the dining room, and your den hobby space to the left over there. So as we enter the back part of the home, we'll walk into the owner suite. Again, great use of space, plenty of room for a dresser, seating area, 
double nightstands, lamps, more windows with views. Gives you a good view of the pool. And just off the owner's bedroom will take us into the, into the bathroom. Double sinks, storage, very large walk-in closet. As you can see, and one more big shower. One of the smaller showers, but still a good size. And let's go see the rest of this beautiful home. Big open kitchen, still plenty of cabinets, plenty of counters, double door pantry in the distance there, nice touch, breakfast bar with area for stools or chairs, very nice details in this floor plan. And again, the way I like, or one of the things I like a lot about these floor plans is their positions of the sinks. Here we are again, back at a sink. You're overlooking your back pool area, your living room, your dining room. Very well done. And just off the kitchen, we'll take us into bedroom two. Very large space, plenty of room for a bed, dresser, desk, and of course, you've got a closet. Now, just off this bedroom, takes us into the laundry room. Now, that door in the back there will take you to the garage. And then just off bedroom two in the laundry, you have full bath number two. That wraps up the tour of this home. Let's head to the next one. I'm actually back again because I forgot to take you out to give you a closer look at the pool. So something you may not realize when you're looking at homes and you may not think about is, okay, so how big is the patio area and does it offer a covered area to protect me from the wind and the rain if we happen to have a storm come through? So what I'd like to point out is on this particular floor plan, you actually have a very nice covered area. Look at that. They've even fit a six seater table and you still have plenty of room on both sides if you want to add more things. So. Very well done. Off to the next floor plan. Okay, so we're still at the Caribbean collection and now we're at the Nevis floor plan. So let's go dive in and take a closer look. Look at that entry. Very well done. And let's enter the foyer. As you can see, we're in the foyer. Look at those tall ceilings and light fixture is absolutely gorgeous. So the Nevis floor plan is two bedrooms, two baths, has a den and hobby area, two car garage, and is approximately 1,862 living square feet. So just after, just after entering the foyer, you can see this beautiful bedroom too. Look at all those gorgeous windows. Tons of natural light, closet space. Now what I like about this bedroom is its size. Look at this. Plenty of room between the dresser and the bed, plenty of room for the nightstands, lamps, and you also have an additional seating space. This isn't the owner suite, this is bedroom two. That's incredible. So as we leave bedroom two, it takes us into, of course, a little closet space and bathroom two. Get a closer look at the details, tub shower combo. And as we leave that bathroom, it's gonna take us back to the foyer, okay? And lead us into, that door will take you to the two car garage. And this gives you a good overall look at the large laundry room. Very well done. Just past the laundry, it's gonna take us into that hobby den space that I talked about in the beginning. So some people might rotate that and use it as an entertainment space, den, hobby area, it's your choice. And we have another room on the opposite side here with closet. Very well done. And as we proceed to the back, see the dining room, big open great room setup. 
Very well done. See the kitchen there? Again, lots of cabinets, lots of countertops, separate pantry. See the details and the backsplash. Again, these are model homes, so you will see upgrades throughout most of these. Look at the space here. Space from the entertainment area to the couches, the extra seating, tall ceilings. Very well done. And something again, you've probably heard me talk about a couple times, but something I really like about this kitchen is the placement of the sink. They actually put a lot of thought into this because they realize how important it is to be able to continue conversation with your guests and family members from the kitchen. So just off your living space or great room area, you can see you have a very large covered lanai. Very well done. And down the hall here is gonna take us into the owner suite. Now again, I know I'm repeating myself, but something I do like about this particular owner suite is the size, okay? So you can see you have plenty of room for your dresser. I'm walking through the room right now. There's tons of space. Look at the width of those nightstands. Those aren't small nightstands, okay? Plenty of room for the lamps, tall recessed ceiling. Down the hall takes us to his and her closets, double vanity sink, and guess what? One massive shower with separate water closet. That wraps up the tour of this home. Bring you back around real quick, show you this area real fast. Okay, let's head to the next one. And I'm back. And next up is the conch cottages section. And we're gonna start with the camellia floor plan. As you can see, they have a screened in porch just outside your entry. And let's go ahead and jump into the tour. And as you enter the camellia plan, you're greeted with a very large open living space. Look at that. Now, this particular floor plan is two bedrooms, two baths, features a two car garage, and approximately 1,309 living square feet. Take a look at that. It's nice and open. You've got a breakfast bar, lots of cabinets and counter space, very well laid out. And they even have a dining room in the distance there. See the dining room? So let's start towards the front. So we just entered through that door right there. Immediately to your right takes you into a full bathroom with shower closet for storage, and just off that bathroom, we've got bedroom two. Again, very well done. Lots of natural light. Takes us back into this great room area with kitchen, dining room, and in the back we have the owner suite. Good lighting, a lot of natural light. As you can see here, Lots of cabinets, great counter space, and again, another big shower. Separate water closet, and of course, as we walk the rest of the property, you'll see we have, again, great size laundry room, extra storage, and that door takes you out to the garage area, but check out the details on this ceiling. Beautiful. Very well done. That wraps up this particular floor plan. Let's head to the next one. Okay, we're back at the Conk Cottages section with the Dreamsicle floor plan. Now all of the Conk Cottages come with a two car garage. With nice exterior porch area. How pretty is that? It even wraps around. Again, this is the Dreamsicle floor plan which offers two bedrooms, two baths, 
a den slash hobby space, two car garage, like I said, and approximately 1,387 living square feet. Let's go take a look. Wow. Look at this. So this is less than 1,400 square feet, but look how big that is as you enter in. Everything is wide open. A lot of windows, great details in the ceiling. Look at the kitchen. Plenty of cabinets, counter space, your laundry rooms in the distance there just off the kitchen, as you can see here. And for the square footage, it's very well laid out, very well done. Your dining area, beautiful. Look at all the windows. So we're on an end unit, so they utilize the windows perfectly. Just complete glass. Tons of natural light. Back off your main living space here, we have the owner suite. And again, there's no added light to this. This is just very well done. Cheerful. I think that's a good word. Very cheerful. Again, big shower. Beautiful floors, a lot of counter space, cabinets, big mirror and lighting. Decent size walk-in closet. And, of course, separate water closet. So let's go back to the main part of the home. As you can see, we're just left the owner suite. Great room area, kitchen, nook, dining. Laundry room down the hall. And we're gonna walk to the back of the home. Great storage, more closets. So we're in the back of the house where you have bedroom two. Again, great space. Room for double nightstands, a bed, a dresser, tall ceilings, closet, really good space. Here's your den slash hobby area. Again, more great space. A lot of customers will ask for a floor plan that does give them an option to have a separate office. And that would be that space there. Full bathroom number two. And that door takes you to the garage. So that wraps up the Dreamsicle floor plan. Look how nice that is. And of course, the music's a plan. Beautiful ceilings. That wraps up the Dreamsicle. Let's head to the next one. Okay, so we're still in the Conk Cottages section. And now we're at the Aloha floor plan, where you can see the main entry. And the beautiful gable up at the top. Now this floor plan does come with an outside patio area. This one is screened in. Very nice touch. So let's go inside and take a closer look. And immediately as you enter this home, you walk into a big open great room area where you have a living space, beautiful kitchen, and a dining area. And guess what? It's all surrounded by windows, providing you plenty of that natural Florida sunlight. Look at that, it's beautiful. And let's walk down the hall here. So we'll see the second bedroom, which is gonna be just around the corner here. So again, this is bedroom two, great size, still plenty of natural light. Nice size closet. And further down the hall here, they have a separate den hobby space. So if you did want a floor plan that had an area for a hobby, office, den room, this is a good option for you. That door takes you to your private two car garage. And to the side of the den hobby, we have a full second bath and laundry room. If you could look at the kitchen again, living space, a lot of windows and views, and here's the owner suite. Look at that. Again, plenty of room for double nightstands, lamps, dressers, and there's plenty of room to walk around. It's not squeezed, it's not tight, it's actually 
a great use of space here. And you have a walk-in closet. And just past the closet, you have your owner's bathroom, cabinetry, mirror, lights, and guess what? Another massive shower with a separate water closet. That wraps up the tour of this floor plan. Give you a good look at that screened in patio. And let's head to the next one. Okay, back again. Uh, now we're, we are still in the Conk Cottages section. This time we are at the bamboo floor plan. Again, very nice entry area with outside patio. As you can see, this floor plan is also going to have a lot of windows, providing lots of natural light. Let's take a closer look. So as you enter this floor plan, you're also greeted with a very large open floor plan. Great living space. Again, lots of windows, cathedral ceilings, open kitchen, overlooking both the dining room and the living space that I'm currently standing in. Closer look at the dining area. Closer look at your kitchen here. Now the bamboo floor plan is a two bedroom, two bath, two car garage, and over 1,205 living square feet approximately. Walk in here, You've got the owner suite. A lot of windows, again, plenty of space here. So as you can see, when I walk around, I'm not squeezed in, I have plenty of room to walk around a king size bed, got double nightstands, plenty of room for a dresser, mirror, beautiful light. As we take it into the owner's bathroom, you can see again, large walk-in shower, double sinks, lots of closet space here, mirror, lighting, and it takes you back into a massive owner's closet. Look at that. This one has built-ins and lots of space for storage. You do get a separate water closet on this one also, as you can see there. And let's tour the rest of this property. So as we walk through the dining area and the kitchen, it takes us back to bedroom two. There again, pointing out, it's hard to tell until you hear in person, but I hope this video helps you. These are great size rooms. You've got a dresser, a bed, a desk, closet, and still plenty of room, plenty of room to walk around. Past this bedroom takes you into full bath number two. Shower tub combo, beautifully done. And past that takes us into the laundry room. Great size laundry room, laundry sink. That door takes you out to the two car garage. Very well done. That wraps up this tour. Wow, I feel like I just ran a marathon. Just kidding. But I hope this tour was helpful for you to better understand some of the differences between the Conch, Caribbean, Beach, and Island collections. This was also a good opportunity for you to be introduced to the floor plans, the finishes, and the quality offered here at Latitude Margaritaville and Daytona Beach, Florida. Just so you know, the video today did not include every single floor plan that is offered out here. I'd be happy to send you every single floor plan. Just comment below, send me floor plans. Also, is there something else that you'd like to see in this neighborhood? Please let me know below in the comments. And remember, I'm the movie star. I'm a full-time real estate professional selling homes and condos here in sunny Florida. Whether you're interested in new construction or resale options here at Latitude Margaritaville, or maybe your search is taking you to somewhere else in Florida, reach out and we can discuss your real estate buying goals. So what are you waiting for? Don't be shy. Pick up the phone and call me. See you again soon.